And there are no checks and balances. This is what you get. Look at this is really look at that. See the difference? This is this thing came out of this place, right? Can you see the size? That that is being cheated, right? You're being cheated because look at that. You know, the difference is clear. Look at that. And then see, you know, here is not full. It's not being used at all. So bottom line, there are no checks and balances in most African countries. So people do what they like. You know, look at this one. So look at that. Look at. See. It's not opened yet. This is where it's see where it's started from. Can you imagine that? See where it's started from. See how small it is. You know. Anyway, people, please be careful out there. Check the dates of what you're buying because people are desperate now to make money and they give you anything to put in your tummy. So check the date. I know of a family that when their toothpaste finishes these days, they just cut hair off. They cut hair off and use their toothbrush to go inside and get try to get toothpaste. Very soon, people are going to start using chewing stick because these are expensive and value for value is sometimes you don't get it in African countries. If you know what I mean? Look at this now. Value for value. It's not value for value. Look at that. Half of it and not full. And you're buying at the full price. That's not fair. That's not nice. You know, I agree you want to make profit as an entrepreneur, as a business person. But hey, not to the detriment of other people. Huh? It's an expensive joke. Seriously, people. I don't intend to make this video too long, but there are other things I will need to talk about here as well. In a country where checks and balances are not in place, in a country where all they think of is just their yeah, personal wealth and acquiring so much, where they have so many long chains of um, ministers here and there, yeah, there are no checks and balances look at these pictures look at the suffering when you talk about low hanging fruit imagine this lady just walking she has no money to eat three square meal a day obviously she's going to become a low hanging fruit as this man is approaching her right now he will decide to he can even make the advances and want to just you know go for anything even if he just to put food in her mouth just to get down with a man look at this young man suffering who says he doesn't want a better life that is why you find social vices before you know it, they start thinking of the evils they will do in the, in the in the in the in the economy or to people robbing people imagine the where these people are now there's no they keep um canceling different things no more bikes no more this without provision at least Government, make alternative before you dismantle those um, stores on the road. Make provision before you start cancelling all these menial jobs like the bike people. You know, everything is so expensive now that you have low-hanging fruit ladies. Before you know it, it will be filled. People will drop out of school. The school fees are expensive. You know, when people try to be business people, when you guys see opportunity, you cancel that opportunity for increasing taxes. Even in the market, so much tax is being paid here and there. You know, what do you expect? Things are going to get expensive. People are going to start thinking of evil things of how they will make ends meet. Anyways, this video is not to make you feel bad. We just have to keep trying. We just have to keep talking to the government till they change. It's to rule us, it's to govern us and save us. That's what we're just saying. That's what we're just saying. I was once asked, location or comfort? Where the place is so bad, but your home is like heaven. I chose location because I want to be inspired. When I come out, I want to see great environments that will inspire me. That will make me move forward, think of things that will make me move forward quickly. Than just only me having good time in my own home. When I come out, everywhere is deteriorated. That is the mentality of Africans. Why do you think that? Way? Always thinking of comfort first without considering the, the environment. It cannot be comfortable in your home and expect those people suffering not to rob you. It's just that the targets of these arm robbers or whoever, they are targeting the wrong people. Because at the end of the day, it's frustration that is making them do what they're doing. Bottom line, government, please, serve us with goodwill as you're supposed to. You know what I mean? 
and don't feel so comfortable that you have it all and other people are suffering it doesn't tell good well of you the question they keep asking me on daily basis when are you going to jackpa jackpa is not the answer it's not the solution but my question is are you going to jackpa now and leave the country like this what is your own take on this let me have your opinion on this hard economy that everyone is going somehow let me use the word colo mental because it's not okay that is why you find some people having accidents anyhow the fuel has increased you can see the number of cars are no more too much on the road